Starting tonight, two dozen Nebraska National Guard troops are set to be posted in neighborhoods affected by the tornado outbreak. Our Bella Caracta joins us live in Elkhorn with why the governor issued the order. Bella. John, Aaron, as you can see, this house behind me is totally exposed, as are many other homes in this Ramblewood neighborhood of Elkhorn, leaving a lot of potential valuables ripe for the picking. And that's why law enforcement since Friday has been here patrolling the area. And I was just speaking with Omaha police officers. They say there are four of them patrolling the area in shifts of eight hours constantly throughout the night to deter potential looters. In the day, there are some more um, law enforcement officers controlling traffic uh, to keep away unnecessary traffic. But as we mentioned, the Nebraska National Guard were supposed to be here starting tonight. The Omaha police officers say they haven't arrived yet, but their purpose goes beyond controlling traffic, and it is to help keep people and their property safe. After not being able to sleep in their own home, Looting was the last thing Jess LaRocca was thinking about. Um, the first night we stayed with my parents up the street and we had no idea that the looting was even happening until the next day. Then the Douglas County Sheriff's Office arrested two people suspected of taking more from those who've lost so much. I want the message to be clear. If you're coming here with the intention of stealing people's stuff or victimizing companies that are working here, stay home. Actually, if you want to make money off this tornado, a lot of these construction companies are hiring. The sheriff's office welcomes the National Guard as they work to deter both unnecessary traffic and crime. And so too does Jess LaRocca. Every time we come back, it's still like shocking. Like it feels like it was a dream, but you know, we come back and we're just so thankful to all the volunteers and the first responders and the National Guard for all they're doing to protect our community. And if and when the National Guard comes in to patrol the area, the governor's office says that it's expected that they would be up, be here for up to two weeks. Reporting live in Elkhorn, Bella Caracta, 6 News. Thanks, Bella.